The reasons for grafting passion fruit are twofold. Firstly, when growing seedling Panama passion fruit, they tend to have a short vine life caused by fungal pathogens in the soil, which cause root disease and death within six to 12 months of planting. If you use a flavor carper or yellow passion fruit as rootstock with the desired Panama type grafted onto it, then research has shown that the vines will resist infection for an extended period. The rootstock used in this DVD is a flavor carpa seed line called Brazilian, which has shown excellent vigor and good resistance to early vine decline. The second reason for grafting is to avoid the variation in plant and fruit characteristics that can occur when growing Panamas from seed. Research has shown that seedling Panamas can produce a range of fruit size and shapes with up to 50% yellow fruit, which are not preferred in the market. Flowering intensity and duration can also vary significantly in seedling Panamas. For a commercial enterprise, it's recommended that individual seedling plants with the desired characteristics are identified and the growing tips used for grafting. This provides uniform phenology throughout the crop growth and most importantly, it ensures quality fruit at harvest. What we're going to do is, is take some cuttings from the vines that you've got growing in the field and take them back to the, uh, to the grafting place and, uh, and do some grafting. Now, you want to select vigorous tips of the vine runners, take them off, put them in a bucket of water so they don't dry out. What we're doing is we're taking cuttings that are long enough and when we get back to do the grafting, we'll trim them up to the correct size. Well, the graft we're going to do for the, for the passion fruit is what's called a, a wedge graft, where this is the root stock, which is cut off 20 to 30 centimetres above the base, the, the top of the pot, and you make a cut down the, down the root stock like that. And here's the tip of the passion fruit that's going to be grafted onto the root stock. And on that, you make a, a wedge cut, which goes inside the cut that you've made into the root stock. And you end up with a union similar to that. This is a seedling flavocarpa, which we're going to graft our desired passion fruit variety onto. Um, this is about 10 to 11 weeks from sowing the seed to the reaching grafting size. Now we want to place the graft 20 to 30 centimetres above the base, the top of the pot. That's to prevent, when you plant this plant into the field, you prevent uh, soil, contaminated soil, from splashing up onto the graft union. So we select a place 20 to 30 centimetres up on the stock just below a node and we'll, we'll take the top off completely and we'll use our uh, scalpel or you can use things like uh, razor blades or whatever, just a, a, sharp, a sharp implement. Just remember that these things are very sharp. Now on the rootstock we'll make a, a vertical cut down about one and a half to two centimetres down the centre of the stock. And now we'll prepare the scion to go onto the, onto the rootstock. Now here are the tips that we collected from the field of the desired passion fruit that we want to go onto the top of the rootstock. Now it's important to make sure that the, the tip to go onto the rootstock is at about the same width as the rootstock is. So the tip going on is at the same diameter as the, as the rootstock is. So we select that there, we'll, we'll trim that back. And we also remove quite a bit of the leaf that's on the, on the tip to be grafted. Now that's to prevent that drying out while the graft is taking. Now this is what we call a wedge graft. So we've made a cut down the rootstock and now we're going to make a wedge on the tip to go onto the rootstock. Should have my glasses on. You can see there that that's a, a wedge been formed there 
by cutting it in down one side and then down the other. Now that goes into the rootstock like that. Push it down. And you can see there that that's a, a nice fit. Now we take one of these little grafting clips to hold the graft in place. That goes over that like that. And that's done. And then we'd put a stake in there to hold the, graft, the plant upright. Tie it on there. Now we'd leave that plant in a sheltered position out of the wind with some gentle misting for about two weeks. This is one of the, uh, the grafts that was done about four or five weeks ago. You can see here where the graft union has calloused over uh, and, and taken quite well. Now that plant there is ready to be planted in the field.